What up, what up, Namaste Fit Fam. So we're gonna go over a little quick little back bicep things that we can do. So just starting off, you don't even have to be standing that well if you're in the gym right now. Think about supination curls. Nice tall tadasana. Maybe squeezing the glutes. Working with your breasts, maybe one arm at a time. And then we can also do our bent over rows, underhand palms. Trying to get a nice flat, flat back. Getting the full engagement, trying to get elbows as high as we can. Being cognizant of how we're using the belly, working with our breath, relaxing the arms all the way down. Think about a boom forward fold, Uttanasana. Breathing it out, inhale, Tadasana. And then we get shoulder press too. So elbows perpendicular. Triceps parallel with the ground, work with the breath. And then in Ukatasana chair pose, we can get our reverse flies. Keeping the heart up. <laughs> work with the breath, maybe doing the one foot figure four. Similar to like the arm balance yesterday <laughs> playing around with that fun so we could do that all standing up and then we can also do it from all fours so knees right underneath the hips come down on fours shoulders right over the hands but think about everything you're doing standing up you could do from on the knees so we can get our supination curls Maybe one arm at a time. And we can get curls, add in the Arnold's shoulder press. And then we can also get our one arm rows. So instead of doing, you know, two rows, we could do one hand down and then driving that elbow up as high as we can. Still playing it all four, similar to like if we were gonna do left arm straight forward and then the knees are still grounded right hand still grounded on all fours and then now we're just taking that left hand grabbing the dumbbell getting our curls in three sets of eight three sets of ten or 12 to 15 reps since we've got lighter dumbbell weights not doing full body building and then getting the opposite left side right side equal and opposite there. And then also, if you don't want to have your hands down, you could bring your one of your legs up. So we'll keep our left knee back, right foot's gonna step forward, and then our right hand's gonna come right on top of the right knee, or we could right, rest our right forearm on top of that right knee, grab the dumbbell with the left hand, pressing our right foot into the ground, knees stacked over the ankles. We got this bone over bone alignment we can literally press as much weight as we need to into this right heel. Grab the dumbbell with your left hand, and then you can row it up, working with the breath. If you don't want to have your other hand on the ground, depending on where you're at, if you're outside in the yard or something. So that's another way to do the rows from the yoga all fours. And we'll step the right foot back, get the left side, left foot, Steps on the outside of left hand, similar to like lizard pose, sinking down these hips. Maybe you reach around back, grab the opposite ankle, and come forward. Hand could be down, left hand could be down on the inside of that left foot, similar to extended side angle. And then we can get our rows in, or you could bring this left forearm on top of the left knee and get our rows in from there. So if you're not able to stand up, you can still get your rows in right around the same area of getting our cat cows, all fours, dropping the belly, gazing up. Exhale, tuck the chin, curl the back. Cat cows like that. And then we just press up onto our knees. We can get our supination curls, squeezing the glutes, keeping that nice, strong, true north to dasana. If you want to bring both arms up at the same time, you can do some hammer curls also. And if you want to put curls together with the shoulder press, Arnold's, boom, still right there. 
and then you can still focus on being evenly grounded in your knees, hip width apart. You don't have to worry about how squishy your shoes are, messing up your form, or anything like that. And then if you want to get to see your rows, just do that little air air squat, ukatasana, thing about a boom, or you can sit down on a chair. Get your reverse, <laughs> reverse flies in there. And then bend over rows from halfway lift, standing up. Can't really do reverse flies from on the knees. And then reverse flies, not rows, but you could do like these, the elbows, 90 degrees, perpendicular. And then if you want to lean forward, get a little bit more angle. And that's when you can get the ukatasana chair pose. The torso is almost like a 45 degree angle. Still lifting up. We're not caving everything down. We can get it down like that. Play around with that. Namaste fit fam. And get some arm balances. Side curl. Fun. As Nash cleaned himself. What's up Nash? Amused. He's not abused. But work with your own breath. Work at your own pace. Have fun with that. Namaste, fit fam. Namaste. But if you want to put that real quick in a vinyasa, four fold, inhale, rise up, curl, shoulder press, exhale, ukatasana, reverse fly. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Shift down to the knees. And we get our one arm rows here. You could even have a hand with this other opposite dumbbell flat on the side. Or you have your hand down. Boom. Or you can have the knee down, opposite foot up. And then you get your cat cows here. Maybe some more elbows and knee, core. Any of those combinations. Back to down dog, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Top of the mat, feet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe just inhale, halfway lift and get your underhand rows here with the dumbbells exhale forward fold inhale rise up get your curls in and if you're short on time curls shoulder press boom then you've been yasas through or if you're really short on time then just add in reverse flies get that quick little pump in and exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift maybe to get the underhand rows here or you just jump it back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Back to all fours. Cat cow rows here. And then maybe some elbow to knees. Maybe you also stretch the hamstrings here. Get into hip flexors. Hamstrings with the half splits, full splits. Hip flexors with the lizard pose. I'm talking the toes. Maybe doing a little arm balance or airplane pose. So any of those combinations, playing around with it. Namaste fam.